as a general rule, I don't carry food into the field. And when I do, I don't carry much of it. The exception uh, would be in the winter time. Now in the winter, calories are a lot harder to come by and our body really needs those calories to stay warm. It's trying really, really hard to create that heat. So if you think of your body as a wood stove, then a calorie is a unit of heat energy. A calorie is basically the log that we're gonna place in that stove to keep it going. And the colder it is, the more calories you need. And the fact that they're harder to get in the winter time, I do carry food in my winter packs. And like everything else, I like to put it in a dry bag. That increases the buoyancy of my ruck and it keeps water from getting to that food and causing it to spoil faster than it should. Uh, what I have in here, I have calculated to be two weeks of rations for me. That buys me time uh, to feed my body, get those calories in while I'm moving. You know, I'm, I'm carrying this rucksack, but I'm not gonna carry it forever. I'm carrying it to a safe location. And once I find that location, I'm gonna set up shop. So this is two weeks worth of rations, high calorie, a lot of various stuff in here, emphasis on protein, carbohydrates, fats, those types of things that we need in cold weather. Um, and you, you just have to do some research and choose what that's gonna be for you. Uh, after I've exhausted this, hopefully by that time, I have enough trapping and enough passive food collection means in addition to my supplemental hunting efforts that uh, it will culminate in enough calories for me to be sustainable. So that's kind of the school of thought there.